Good afternoon, panel and fellow students. We are the BSN 3B Group 2B, and today we are going to present a research study entitled Coping Strategies to Stress of Nursing Students. And the presenters are myself, Jessica Holodnik, Maria Cristina Gamboa, Erica Francis Garde, Jericho Guanco, Abby Meja de Lesa, and Keith Denise Hatton. Introduction. First, in choosing the study, a longer participant following the bachelor's degree, nursing students encounter a lot of academic pressure, based on ability to succeed, uncertainty of future, and difficulties of integrating the system. But for nursing students to adapt and handle their problems, they almost have the capacity to use coping strategy, just as an individual's normal reaction to stress and a vital comprehension of how to react to adversity. Did you know that low psychological problems tend to occur or require by students with good coping strategies? That is why there is a need to explore the coping strategies of nursing students to stress, given the workload of balance in the academic field. This study seeks to answer the following question. First, what is the demographic profile of the students in terms of age, sex, religion, and section? Second, what are the different sources of stress encountered by the participants during the first semester of the academic year 2020 to 2021? Third, what are the strategies used by the participants to cope up with stress encountered? Lastly, is there a significant difference in the coping strategies of nursing students according to age, sex, religion, and section? The result of this study may be beneficial to the following. To the school administrators to address students' concerns, specifically nursing students. To the nurse educators to guide them on how to help or assist their students with stress coping. To the nursing students to help them discover ways and how to cope or manage stress. To the family of nursing students to help them understand or support their child or sibling suffering from stress. And to the future researchers to provide them knowledge and serve as future related literature for conducting research related to the study. For the theatrical framework, rest of the patient model by Sister Callista Rai was used to the study. It majorly concerned the different coping strategies used by the nursing students. In the study's case, the concept of health stands to that remain coping strategies, while the environmental changes were the stressors. Conceptual framework. The study and its objectives reflected Rai's adaptation theory that the person is in constant interaction with the internal and external environment that could lead an individual to adapt to the changes or stress that he would encounter. The analysis started with knowing the demographic profile of the nursing students, taking into consideration the age, sex, religion, and section as part of the independent variable. The participants were then assessed of their sources of stress, and lastly, these sources of stress reflected how their coping strategies are used to the stress encountered. Hypothesis statement. There is only one significant difference in the coping strategies of nursing students, and it is when they are grouped according to religion. Research design. The study utilized the quantitative descriptive approach to research intended to determine the primary objectives of the study the sources of stress, the coping strategies to stress, and the significant difference in the coping strategies when grouped according to age, sex, religion, and section. The participants of this study will be the third-year nursing students from University of St. LaSalle. When it comes to our research instrument, Goodin's case validity test was used and validated by Dr. Nefertiti Bayona Gosinfiao, Dr. Sheila Abeliano Xavier, and Dr. Robbie G. Ramos. The results of 3.66, which means that the instrument is valid and indicates a very good validity of a questionnaire. The reliability of the instrument, run back alpha test, was used. The results of 0.8614, which means that the instrument was reliable and indicates an acceptable level of reliability. Data gathering procedure. First, a letter of permission was sent to the Dean of the College of Nursing to allow the conduct of the study. Upon approval of the formal permission, mayors of respective classes disseminated the information to the selected eligible three-year nursing students. It is regarding the questionnaires of the study to be distributed in the form of Google document. Once the participants were done, researchers collected and organized data utilizing the survey questionnaires. It is filled by the participants in an organized manner. Statistical treatment for problems 1, 2, and 3, frequency and distribution was used to determine the demographic profile, the sources of stress, and the coping strategies used by the participants. And for problem 4, Cross-Cal Wallace age test and Man Whitney U test determined the significant differences in the coping strategies to stress of the third-year nursing students. 
Ethical considerations. The study was conducted with the utmost respect and conformity with the participants and those who were involved in the research process. The participants had their freedom from harm and exploitation. Lastly, the researchers observed the right of the participants to confidentiality and kept their identity anonymous. Results and discussion. Table 1. Results of the highest percentage among the demographic profile. For age, 96.7% belong to 19 to 26 years old age bracket. For sex, 74.2% were females. For religion, 76.7% were Roman Catholics. For section, section A has the highest number of 22.5% participants. Table 2, which is the different sources of stress encountered by the nursing students. These are the highest type of stressors. On the other hand, is the least type of stressors. Table 3. Coping strategies used by nursing students to cope up with stress encountered. Commonly used are transference and problem solving, and the least used is avoidance. Table 4 shows that religion is significant when it comes to transference, whereas avoidance, problem solving, and staying positive cannot be characterized by demographic variables. Transference differs when the respondents are grouped according to religion. Thus, a relationship of believers toward the attachment to God was established as the strongest predictor of a positive mental health. Conclusion most of the third-year nursing students belong to an age range of 19 to 26 years old, which are classified to young adulthood. It is a time of constant change and discovery that affects many aspects of their lives. Stressors are inevitable in nursing students, and as what the results have shown, taking into consideration worrying about having grades is the highest source of stress encountered by the participants. This implies that nursing students have too much weight in their backs in juggling the requirements and clinical hours needed. With the different coping strategies that are mentioned above, results have shown that majority of the nursing students prefer to relax by watching movies, taking a shower, or do physical activities to ease or lighten the stress. These coping strategies support the nursing students holistically. It gave the nursing student as an escape from the stress, and at the same time, it also helps them to function and perform well in their class and duties. As there was no significant difference on the coping strategies and demographic profile, nursing students are generally uniform in dealing with stress, except transference on religion groups. Religion and its values affect nursing students' ability to use their coping strategies, which enable them to find meaning in the face of adversity. Spirituality is often seen as a subjective area that laid the person's beliefs, and it can have a substantial impact on the coping behavior of a person. For recommendation, we recommend that school administrators set aside a day for students to gather virtually for fun and engaging activities. These activities will not only give respite from an overwhelming school week, but will provide the students opportunity to showcase their talent and refresh knowledge interactively. For the College of Nursing, a virtual group counseling that can help bolster students' mental health during this challenging transition can provide students a platform to express their own thoughts and feelings and foster feelings of connectedness among them. In continuation, for nurse educators, an activity of pause to be. This is allotting a few minutes of meditation before, during, or after class enables the students to take a breather. A mindfulness meditation that can help boost the student's memory, improve their focus, and minimize their stress. Most importantly, for nursing students, there is a need to prioritize their overall health to perform all the requirements they are asked to do. To discover the coping strategies that help manage for stressors and learn when to rest. And lastly, for future researchers, Further studies should be conducted on the relevance of including spiritual aspects, which covers different religions that elicit spiritual matters and activities to help manage stress and discover coping strategies. Utilization. The study results will be related to the Commission of Higher Education, University of St. Lazar College of Nursing, Guidance and Evaluation Office, Student Government, and Center for Assault and Ministries. A copy will also be endorsed to the different heads upon completion of the study as basis for program evaluation. It will also be available to serve as basis for other nursing schools in developing programs and services that will help nursing students cope with stress. 
acknowledgement, our deepest gratitude to God for giving us knowledge, wisdom, and patience, which made us able to finish our study. Moreover, the researcher would like to thank our Professor Dr. Sheila Trajera and Dr. Leslie Young for their advice, correction, and ending support and guidance throughout the development of this research. And the Dean of the College of Nursing, Ms. Ivy G. Edemney, for allowing us to conduct our research. In addition, thank you to our parents for the support and love they gave us. Lastly, to our fellow batchmates who participated and gave us significant information for our research paper.